trying to install things, do you mind the rain or just like any other no, day? No, no, you know, it's uh, elements, you know, we, we don't let that even enter the picture. We're just in the installation and we're trying to evaluate our guys and, you know, that's the number one thing, installation, evaluating, you know, what we have. How did 11 and 11 go today? Uh, there was something good. Um, there was a lot of things we got to improve on. You know, right now we're, we're focusing on those guys just thinking like we want them to think, uh, having the mentality that we need, to, need them to have. And uh, so there's a lot of, there's, in, there's the installation, the execution, and there's the mental part. And uh, we're trying to, to get them to, uh, to do both. Gus, what were some of those good things? Uh, there was there was some uh, there was some we had a third down situation uh, for the first time and we actually did some good things and got past the chains and then we kind of lost a little momentum and you know when you're rotating that many people there's going to be some good there's going to be some bad but the good thing from our coaching standpoint is we get to evaluate our guys we get to see where we're, where they're at and you know when you're, when you're in the evaluation stages uh, you got to be patient I'm not very patient but I've got to be. Speaking of evaluation, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Cody and Nicole right now? Uh, you know, I, I, along with Barrett Trotter and other quarterbacks, I, I think uh, from the information I have so far, I think they all want to be good. And, and that's, that's what it's about being a quarterback. Uh, if you want to be good and you'll do everything it takes to, uh, to learn the offense, to be coachable, uh, to understand the expectations. So we're in such the early stages, it's hard for me to, to comment one, you know, one way or another completely, but I think they all want to be good, and that's important. Gus, you'd obviously said that you wanted to tear down the quarterback race as quickly as possible. How does that change when you've got a situation like with Chris Todd, who's not able to mm -hmm. go right now? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you've got to evaluate the guys that are out there. And, uh, you know, when he gets healthy enough, we'll definitely evaluate him. But it's not fair to him unless he's completely healthy to be able to evaluate him. So, so that's the situation we're in. Right now, you know, I mean, it's great when you're out there in helmets to evaluate, but there's nothing like when them live bullets are coming at you and uh, the speed and, and they're getting after you with pads. That's when you kind of see some separation sometimes. And I'm not saying anything specific, but, but now we can start really evaluating a little faster than we would with just helmets. How have players reacted to the pace of how you want to move things? It's one thing to talk about it, but to actually get out sure. there and, and do it. Uh, you know, I'm going to bet they're in a little bit of shock you know, as far as what we're asking them to do. But here's the great thing about it. We weren't happy two days ago with our pace, and we really challenged them. And uh, they came back strong, and we saw that aspect, at least early, where they know the pace that we want to run plays, get on and off the field, and just get used to practicing fast. Cody mentioned uh, a couple of days ago that you had talked about his front leg and having that bent to help his accuracy. How, has, have you seen improvement in accuracy at all? Of the you know, uh, I think so. Uh, you know, I believe throwing the football is about balance. And uh, you know, a lot of times people worry too much about the upper body. But I'm, uh, we're focusing right now on the lower body of all of them. And there's little things all of them we feel like can improve in. And we're just trying to take it one step at a time and give them one thing to, to concentrate on. And that kind of goes back to I think they all want to be good because you ask them, you focus, and they've gotten better each time. And uh, so that's the encouraging thing. So that's the big thing you're working with Cody now as far as the one thing? Yes, him and the others. Yeah, we're working on their lower body at this point. Can you talk about what you see from the receivers? Uh, I tell you what, they're, they're, they're learning to practice at the pace. Um, we don't have a lot of them, so you know, they're running probably more than they've, they've ran in their life. So we're just working on those guys, uh, doing their assignment, uh, being able to recover quick. Because our receivers, uh, by position, they'll run more than any other position we've got. And uh, so I think right now they're getting used to that and they're understanding the expectations that uh, we have for them. Gus, what do you see as Mario Fannin's role in this offense? You know, I think he's one of the one of the guys that provides us a lot of versatility uh, to do a lot of different things. You know, he's got running back skills, he's got receiver skills, and and uh, we're asking him to do some blocking too. Uh, so uh, you know, it's it's early right now, but but that's uh, just from the looking in the past and the short time we've been out there, he's pretty versatile. Who are some of the other guys that are working with more than one position coach? Uh, you know, that's. Uh, we're pretty specific by our positions. Um, so there's very few that I'd say is working separate positions at this point. You know, we've got two groups. We're kind of thin uh, with our numbers. So you know, we're all trying to learn one position. Now what you may see is we try to keep the same 11 out there. And they may be in different spots, but it's the same position. Have there been any guys who have stood out to you through the first few days here? Uh, not at this point. I mean, uh, we got to get our guys. I mean, like I told you, we're, we're trying to 
the execution part, that's one aspect. And getting them to think mentally and physically tough it like we want. So it's kind of two separate things, and I wouldn't say anybody's where we need them to be yet, but the encouraging thing is they've gotten better, and I think they're understanding that. And so that's what we're focusing on now. Talk about a guy like Justin Albert, kind of where, where you, you've seen him fit in just after a couple of days. Uh, you know, he, he, you can tell he's, he's quick, um, you know, and looks like he's got some pretty good ball skills, and uh, you can do some things. And he's kind of been thrown in the fire a little bit because uh, of our, our depth issue. So, so he'll get a real chance.